News 46 is brought to you by... The Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. Located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160, you can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500 or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. And by affiliated chiropractic and affiliated physical therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Tonight on News 46, local businesses teach kids about their careers at J.G. Johnson. United Health Group gives patients information on health insurance. And Shirley Madsen speaks out about the proposed recall efforts. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Rick Vale and Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell and News Across Nevada with Janet Eric. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Friday, May 13th, 2011. I'm Rick Vale for News 46. Topping our news tonight, we spoke to town manager Bill Kobarger this afternoon. He would like to respond to the rumor that his town employees are not allowed to speak to the press. Kobarger says this is untrue. He has not issued a gag order for with town employees. Mr. Kobarger has stated that he is the town's public information officer and has requested for all vitally important matters that would concern his office to go through him. And part two in our conversations with Nye County Tax Assessor Shirley Matson and her attorney, Nancy Lord. Judicial review of the reprimand. Not that Shirley Matson really cares about their stupid reprimand. Mm -hmm. Just that I don't want to be told by a federal judge at some later point that we did not exhaust our administrative remedies or we did not exhaust our state remedies mm -hmm. or whatever it is we have to exhaust to bring the suit in the right place, mm -hmm. which would be federal 1983 violation of rights under the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And there is just certain things that need to be done to get there, and this is one of them. Yeah, and not only that, but you know, as, as you know, the public support is really on my side. So I have constituents come into the office, and um, I tell them I, I am fighting back, I am gonna do, but I'm trying to do, th I got an attorney right away. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, it's, it's, it's on its way, because they kept wondering why something wasn't done, why, why they weren't already seeing something in the paper, you know, where I'm fighting against it. And I said, in due time, we're just doing it, you know, the correct way. So a lot of it was, be you know, because my constituents expected it, because they don't feel the way these commissioners feel. It's the same thing as my election contest, which luck it turned out to actually absolve the county of any wrongdoing. But people said, why are you investing all this money in this? Because 1,493 people voted for me. And there was this rumor around town that it was a fraud, that I really did win. How could I not do that? How could I ignore the wishes of 1,493 people who cared enough about me to cast a vote and just say, oh, I guess they're right, it's all wrong. I had to look at it. And just like Assessor Matson has to fight this because there are people supporting her and we are not going to diss our supporters the way the people of this town have been dissed by the people who are running it. Yeah, Stephanie Lopez is asking for a recall. Well, first off, I, I wrote a few notes. Um, I don't really know who Stephanie Lopez is. It sounds a little bit like to me that somebody wants to be act want to, <laughs> like they're important and they aren't really. But, you know, some of the things I wrote down are, you know, um, the way I look at it is she's an extreme um, uber liberal, you know, and that's usually how they react. They're not they're You know, you. Uh, a conservative or somebody that doesn't think like they are are not allowed to have uh, freedom of speech or they are very sensitive to it and they get right on the uh, you know on the soapbox but you know um, God forbid someone say anything about their views that are not that don't match you know and they just they were all over their public their uh, freedom of speech rights and to see the extended interview you can visit our website at kpvm.tv and Vernon Van Winkle continues to give vital information to patients who have insurance with Senior Dimensions and Health Plan of Nevada. 
nobody needs to change their position now, and they have coverage through the end of the year. If they choose or would like to change their position, we can help them do that. They can do that at any time. Um, they are with Senior Dimensions, in our case, um, through the 31st of December of this year. Um, and if they would like to make um, a decision before, uh, say, September, um, we're happy to help them with that, but they don't need to do anything immediately. And we will continue to send information and hold town hall hearings. We've got a couple scheduled uh, in the remainder of the month of May and into June uh, to make ourselves accessible and answer these questions here locally as well as, again, via phone and letters. And again, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid look at every detail of this program and all communications are also um, reviewed and approved by them. We wanted to start the process as early as possible for those physicians locally that made a change to uh, another um, health carrier and between phone calls, uh, mails, commu community uh, form hearings, we, we, we should be able to get to them so that they know what's actually going on. But again, their, their, their insurance plan doesn't change through the end of the year. Uh, and at any time, if they wanted to change their physician, they could call us and do so. So um, if they're traveling, uh, they're probably, if they're spending amounts of time outside of the community here in Pahrump, they're probably not in the Senior Dimensions program. So um, all Senior Dimensions members will have coverage through the end of the year for their insurance policy. Their benefits stay the same. All, all, all of that uh, remains unchanged. Uh, if they uh, are with one of the local, I believe it's 10 physicians who have made a different business decision uh, at that point, uh, we will help them find a physician for the remainder of the year. But again, their benefits and everything that they've come to expect from Senior Dimensions is with them through the end of this year. They have signed up with us, and again, as I mentioned, everything is um, sanctioned and approved by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. So they are with Senior Dimensions through the end of the year. That's usually a, a strong peace of mind, unless, again, if they're concerned is they have a continuity of care issue, I mean, they have a serious condition. Again, there are provisions in that. Um, but for the remainder uh, 10 or so weeks of the year, they may have to choose another provider or we can help them find another provider. Again, we've added um, uh, quite a few physicians here locally uh, since these other ones have chosen to go with another um, out-of-state uh, entity. And we have a local clinic and we'll be adding even more physicians and specialists uh, and including a, a new community, uh, additional rooms at our, at our clinic now. So. There should be plenty of access and service, and there has to be. Again, we're, we're mandated by the federal government to operate this way, and they've looked at this, and there should be um, more than enough capacity and access to physicians for that 10-week period. If, if that's of, of concern to certain individuals, they can always call us on the back of the card. And again, we're going to be here in the community having town, town halls and making our, our senior most folks from Las Vegas available uh, to come up here and hear the concerns. So. And to see the extended version of this interview, you can also visit our website at kpvm.tv. And J.G. Johnson Elementary School invited local businesses to talk about their jobs at their first annual Careers on Wheels Day. He uh, brought out a bunch of vendors that um, could share with our students what it would take to uh, do that career, uh, ranging from, of course, your news team to uh, uh, air ambulance, uh, ground ambulance, fire department, uh, tow trucks, garbage trucks, dairy units, car wash. Uh, Valley Electric, uh, I'm trying to think, I don't want to miss anybody, but uh, yeah, just so our kids could learn about the careers and what they need to know, and uh, it was a great day. Everybody had a good time. We had Mercy Air land on scene here? Yes, we did. Uh, we, we brought them down before the kids came out, though, uh, so that we don't have, we got a lot of rock and stuff around, but uh, but it's exciting for them to see it and touch it and be around it and, and, and uh, experience that. Was this for all grades? Yes, we had the entire school out here, so we had over 400 students out here today. A little warm, but that's all right, but a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, the kids had a real good time. What's some of the preparation that they did for this? Oh, teachers would talk about the careers uh, prior to coming out, what it would take for education to, to be, be uh, with those, those people. And, and I listened to some of the vendors, and you know they talk about even graduating from Prump Valley High School yeah. and uh, what they had to do to further their careers here in the, in the business that they're in. So are we going to be doing this every year? We certainly hope to. Uh, we appreciate the, you know, people taking time out of their jobs to come out and do this. Uh, you know, we understand, that with, especially with the economy the way it is, they, they, they need to work first. Mm -hmm. But uh, we still had a great turnout. Uh, for, some of my former students are here as yeah. employee, employees now of people, and I appreciate that. Wonderful.
Well, thanks so much for inviting us. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. I'm here with Darby O'Donnell, and we are at J.G. Johnson Elementary School, and we were here for Careers on Wheels. I brought Darby with me because she got to talk to the kids on a kid level about what it's like to be a news reporter. How'd it go, Darby? They, they seem to like it. <laughs> it was lots of fun. We want to thank J.G. Johnson for inviting us. We're going to show as many of the kids as we can on film that got to be on camera. J.G. Johnson Rock! J.G. Johnson And to see more of the kids, you can visit our website at kpvm.tv or visit our YouTube page. And folks, as we head into our first break on this Friday evening, here's a message from our good friends at the Pahrump Nugget. Hi everyone, it's Dina from the Pahrump Nugget. Last week I spent all the time talking about food, so this week we're going to talk about events and gaming. In the month of May, every Friday and Saturday, we're going to give away from some free slot play. 415 and 615, we'll have two winners. So what you're going to do is you want to keep playing. The more you play, the better your chances of getting some free slot play. We're also going to be giving away a free ATV every Friday. And, and on the end of the month, on the 30th, we're going to give away a sport utility vehicle. So that gets you an entry every time you do 100 points or a half an hour in the pit of carded play. So great ways to win some wonderful things. I also want to talk about a minute that you know we do ladies night every month. Well the Nugget is taking ladies night to the extreme now. And on Friday night, May 20th, we have Hunks the Review. It's basically a male review show. The guys are going to dance and the ladies are going to be excited and we're going to have a uh, bar. Come and purchase a cocktail, sit down, watch the men dance. You can buy your ticket for $10 right here at the front desk of the Nugget, and we'll be holding that event up in the Banquet Hall next Friday night. Now, also I want to talk about our next Ladies' Night, which we do in the Stage Bar. First Wednesday of every month, which is June 1st this time, it's our Pirates and Gypsies theme. So you can dress up as a pirate, a gypsy, your black outfits with white and red, wear an eye patch, have some fun. We start at 6.30. Please come down. It's really the event to, to happen here at the Nugget because we have a great time. If you haven't been here before, you want to. So we got great things happening. We're going to be doing some wonderful things throughout the next several months for the summertime, and we hope that you'll join us, whether it's to win an ATV, to win a sport utility vehicle, some free slot play, just to come and have some fun, or dine in any one of our wonderful dining rooms. We have a great hotel, 70 rooms, great place to get away without going far. And we look forward to seeing you. Please remember to have a safe and happy weekend, and we'll see you again next week. One last thing on that last note. Mark your book. Did you know we got a Capriati's coming here to the Nugget? We're going to have a brand new Capriati's, which is a sandwich shop, and they're going to be doing interviews on Tuesday here at the Nugget in Banquet Room 3 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you're looking for a job, please come and fill out an application, and the Capriati's team will interview you. And who knows, you could be the next one making the great sandwich. Have a great day, everybody. Today we introduce you to our third contestant for the Miss Senior Golden Years pageant, Lori Knight. I'm Lori Knight, and um, I'm a contestant in the Miss Senior Golden Years uh, for the second year in a row. Um, my platform is volunteering, and uh, I have lived in Pahrump for 19 years. Uh, throughout those years, um, I volunteered a great deal of my time, uh, as well as operating from LA Taxi. Um, volunteering is very important to me. I've done benefits. I have helped at the Senior Center. Uh, I've been a member of the Moose Lodge for 18 years, so I've 
put in my volunteer time with them um, through our church, but there's many churches. Uh, it is the shoebox program at Christmas. This year I went to Anaheim, California to work in a warehouse to help get these shoeboxes ready for shipment all over the uh, world. And um, I enjoy living in Pahrump. Um, what else? Um, I just stay very active and um, I enjoy our community very much. As, um, uh, as I said, my platform for volunteering, one of the things that I will promote and continue to do is not only be a volunteer, but encourage young, old, or anyone to get out and volunteer. The time you put in and what you get from it, uh, or what you give to other people, you give back 10 times over. Thank you. All right, and here's Terry at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue with this week's Save a Pet segment. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, this is Terry with West Star Ranch. We're sitting here with Joey. Joey is a black lab. He's just under two years old. He gets along with other dogs and he's looking for a forever home. If you're interested in Joey, please come by and see us at 780 Mance Road or give us a call at 727-9273. Our hours are 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sunday. So come on by and see us and maybe adopt Joey, take him home, give him a forever home. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. And folks, we've got windy days and hot days awaiting us. Don't go anywhere. Your seven-day forecast is right after this break. News 46 is brought to you by... The Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. Located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160, you can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500, or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. And by affiliated chiropractic and affiliated physical therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Welcome back to News 46. J.G. Johnson Elementary School had a busy couple of days. Last night was the popular fundraiser McTeacher's Night. We spoke to Principal Dale Norton. Absolutely, what a night. Once again, second annual and uh, places packed as usual. Lots of things going on, lots of raffle drawings and prizes and good food and good fun. Um, actually, it, it, it's a McDonald's thing. Um, several years ago when I was principal at Mance, I tied into this when I, when I was uh, working there in the year-round schedule, actually. And when I came back over to Johnson last year, I came over and talked to Michael, the manager here, and said, can we do this? And he said, I, I've been asking people to do it. Yeah. We're the only school this year that's done it. And uh, in fact, the gal from Vegas that comes out says, I want to bring you into Vegas and have them show, have you show us how to do this in Vegas. And you know, people are patient, even the ones that weren't planning on coming are very patient and understanding, and uh, everybody's having a good time, really a good time. It all depends on how, what the sales are tonight. Um, if we meet a certain goal of, of uh, profit, we get 35% of the profit in two hours. But also they allow us to do raffle drawings, uh, we, 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 they let us do floor sales with cookies and parfaits and that. We're selling our school yearbooks during this, so it's just a big community affair and people are very generous, very generous. And, and we appreciate even the donation of time uh, to come spend time with our kids and read and work with our kids. And, you know, really, it's not all about the money. It's about gathering and uh, sharing some good times together with our, with our folks and, and, and a way to say thank you, too, for all the help that they've done for us. We, we talked about it for over a week now, and 
and uh, the kids know exactly what's going on and the parents are like okay it's time to go so we've had the signs out at the school and reminded our parents and, and there's a lot of people here that don't have students in our school too and I appreciate that wonderful thank you so much for speaking the Salvation Army's Mark King tells us about tomorrow's annual letter carriers food drive yes this Saturday is the postal food drive stamp out hunger and the Salvation Army is lucky enough to be one of the beneficiaries of the donations received. My understanding is that they can leave uh, food items out by their mailbox. The postal workers will pick it up, and then we've arranged to pick it up from the main post office later the next week. They can come down to uh, our food bank social service office on Dolly Street, located just behind Walmart. They can meet with uh, our wonderful employee, Brecca, and she can go over the process, and they can leave that day with a food box. Please set out uh, non-perishables by your mailbox and your mail carrier will pick them up and then we'll be sure to get them and give them out to our friends and family and need in the community. 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hey everyone welcome back to News 46. I'm Rick Vail with your weather today. We had a high 90 degrees. Winds are coming out of the south at about 14 miles per hour. Our pressure on the barometer dropping 29.96 UV index was 8, very high, and sunrise is at 5.39 a.m. on a record high. It's 103 degrees back in 1996. Looking at tonight, going to be partly cloudy out there for us, a low of 66. Winds out of the south at 12 miles per hour. Sunset will be at 7.41 p.m. and a record low is 45 degrees back in 1953. Looking at tomorrow, 90 degrees for the high Saturday, low of 62. Winds out of the south at 13 miles per hour with gusts upwards of 36 miles per hour. Very windy out there. If you have any plans for the weekend, you're going to want to rethink them because the winds aren't going anywhere. UV index will be 8, very high on Saturday. Sunscreen, hat, something along those lines. You're going to get burned out there if you don't. Sunrise will be at 5, 39 a.m. Looking at our 7-day forecast, Saturday, 45 mile per hour gusts expected. 79 for the high, 48 for the low. Sunday, 35 mile per hour gusts expected. 69 for the high, 47 for the low. Monday, 20% chance of rain out there, 71 for the high, 48 for the low. Tuesday, looking at 41 mile per hour gusts, 75 for the high, 51 for the low. Wednesday, looking at 80 for the high, 55 for the low, with windy skies yet again, 31 mile per hour gusts expected. Finishing off our seven day forecast next Thursday, it's 92 for the high, 67 for the low, with gusts up to 16 miles per hour. And our worst weather in the nation today is Neptune, Tennessee for heavy thunderstorms. And I'm sure Neptune feels quite at home in all that water. And folks, tomorrow is the annual Letter Carriers Food Drive. All Albertsons locations will be accepting donations. You can also leave your food donations at your mailbox or local post office. There will be a horse show tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. at McCullough Arena on Basin and Highway 160. K9 Radio will be holding a Radiothon for Symphony Animal Foundation today, tomorrow, and Sunday from 7 to 6 p.m. each day. Please call 253-6205 to donate to this no-kill animal shelter. The Pahrump Museum is having a lecture tomorrow at 1 p.m. to talk about the history of the Pahrump Library. For more information, call 751-1558. And Cup of Faith's Benefit Concert is tomorrow at 4 at Rosemary Clark Middle School, starring American Idol's Phil Stacy. For more information or to get tickets, call 751-0407. And folks, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale, and from everyone up here on the Hill at KPVM, we wish you a safe weekend, and we'll see you here again on Monday night. Until then, good night, Prompt.